Hi, everybody. I'm John Hatfield. I'm in the Offax Summer Accelerator Program at my business, is Corridor Lures. Our goal at Corridor Lures is to solve a problem that has been plaguing the bass fishing industry for the past 50 years. Soft plastic fishing lures are an extremely effective way to catch fish. However, they all have one common problem. They're easily ripped off the hook of fish. On average, they only last two to three fish catches each, and this creates a huge problem for bass fishermen because it costs them a lot of time and money. It also creates a huge environmental problem as hundreds of thousands of soft plastic lures end up in our waterways each year. And so here in this image is your typical soft plastic lure, and when it's hooked wacky style like that right in the middle, it splits, pretty much splits the worm in half after a couple of fish and renders it useless. And here's a couple of Amazon reviews of my competitors' products that just have the regular soft plastic, soft plastic lure with no reinforcement system. This one says, too soft, zero durability, stored after a single catch. This one talks about having some luck with the product, but rarely gets more than one use out of the worm. So this is why we invented the portal stick. Inside each one of our baits, we mold in a durable piece of fabric at the hooking point of the lure. And we call this our anti-rip hooking pad. This patent pending design allows each one of our baits to last up to 30 fish catches, making them approximately 11 times longer lasting than anything else on the market. And here's an image of our black and blue quarter stick skew. And as you can see, there's a small fabric strip right in the center where you would hook it, and this prevents your hook from tearing out of the center of the board. So our financial potential and next steps, uh, we've been working on this product since I was a uh, since I was in high school, my partner and I, um, I came up with the idea actually when I had a, I got a hook stuck in my t-shirt, couldn't get it out, and I thought, why not put this stuff inside the base? And so we've been developing it for a few years, and 2021 was our first year of actually selling product after getting a manufacturer finally set up. And we did over $5,000 in revenue. We were able to get it to 23 different retail stores. Shields in Iowa City, where Corvo is our biggest retailer, and they moved the most amount of product for us. We also sell through our website and through Amazon. Our revenue is about a 50-50 split between online sales and retail sales. Um, for our social medias, that's been a big way for us to generate online sales. We spent a lot of time focusing on that. We've been able to grow our Instagram platform to over 7,000 followers and our TikTok to over 5,000 followers. We also have a Facebook page. Um, so that's going to be another big focus for us this summer is continuing to grow our social media media platforms. And then our next step includes continuing to work on this product, the core stick. We're going to dive deeper into Amazon PPC marketing. I think there's a lot of growth potential on Amazon for it. We're also looking at coming out with even colors because we only have four colors right now. And then our biggest thing for the summer is we're working on developing a new product. Um, so I'd love to do some customer discovery with anybody that is interested in bass fishing. This will be uh, it's a new style of lure, so we're hoping to be like the first market with this new design. So yeah, any questions? Also, I do have a uh, product here if anybody is interested in that or looking for polish day or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> where is your head at right now for new products? Like where do you want to kind of go first? Uh, like what direction we want to take it? Or, yeah, so the prototype mold for the new product is supposed to be in tomorrow, actually. So once we get that in, we're going to do uh, some more product testing and then just do a lot of customer discovery interviews, make sure that people actually want this product and then we'll uh, continue to develop it, put it on our, on our website once we're ready to launch it. Okay. Um, the pitch is great. I Thank thought you. that. It kind of be fun, maybe, if you start, you know, you said your camo you know, video because it got the cotton mm -hmm. shirt. I think it'd be kind of fun if you pulled that story at the beginning. Yeah. Kind of like grab everyone's attention. But I think it's pretty good. What are some problems you have expanding? Like, what's the major obstacle that you're having to eat at more stores? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so it's pretty easy initially to get into like the Iowa stores. Just say that, hey, I'm an Iowa student. They're pretty willing to help me out. But expanding into new states has been kind of difficult to do that just from cold calling. So I'm thinking about maybe like driving to just go on like a little road trip around a different state and going in, in person. I feel like it'd be a little bit easier to sell to get in there. Yeah. 
what kind of materials can you can you say what materials or is that IT? Yeah, IT. no, it's a it's pretty much just cloth on the inside of it, a little bit of plastic, like a thread. Yeah, using it as like a fiber based kind of. Yeah. yeah. Is there a benefit to having different colored worms, or is it just like aesthetic? Um. Yeah, there is a benefit. Certain colors work in mm -hmm. different situations. You're fishing a lot better. Like you have. Know, Really dark, muddy water, uh, darker, like black color works a lot better. And you know, for the clean water, you want something that looks natural, like a, like a light green or something like that. So, yeah. What does your customer discovery look like? So I'm actually working on developing the questions right now. What right now my plan is to like just go out and sit at like Lake of Pride or Coral Reservoir and wait for people to come to the boat to say, Hey, I love to talk to you, are you into bass fishing? And just kind of ask them a few questions about like what their needs are right now with different products, if they have any pain points, and then at the end, maybe describe what I'm working on to see if they have any interest in that. Yeah. yeah. You talk about your market potential for your business. Where do you see yourself in, say, a year? Yeah. So hopefully we will be able to maybe like double our sales this year. That's my goal. I feel like there's a lot of potential of the to grow this as it is a superior product to almost everything that our competitors are selling. So I guess the our initial target market is specifically like bass fishermen that are fishing more than just once a month. They're people that are going consistently and consistently having to spend money on new products and we're going to need close for them. Yeah. Yeah, so we sponsored the uh, Iowa Bass Fishing Team and the Iowa State Bass Fishing Team. And we got our logo on our jerseys. We're going to look into getting into some more college sponsorships first because they're way easier to actually sponsor. In terms of actually sponsoring like a pro for the tournament, they're very expensive. Mm -hmm. And almost all of them have contracts. Like already in place, so it can be difficult to get in that area. But in the future, I definitely want to. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, if you have one, the next market, geographic market that you have in the country outside of this area, I think it would be Minnesota. Well, Minnesota has a bunch of lakes and fishing is extremely popular up there, but they also have ice for half the season, so that kind of limits the number of time you can sell. So I was even thinking about going up to Minnesota or maybe like a southern state like Texas or Alabama. Go to Florida. Florida? Yeah. I used to be a bass master. Oh, really? It's huge fishing down there. Yeah. Huge. And also went to Missouri, southern Missouri. Yeah. In fact, I have several buddies that are bass masters. I can't tell you how much money I spent on that. You say that sounds like easy customer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to know each other. Yeah, give those connections. Any other questions? Uh, what can the community do for you? Um, well, if anybody's interested in some product, I can talk more. <laughs> yeah, Buy my worms. <laughs> I like your Facebook page. Yeah, uh, our Facebook page is at the Four Worm Lures. And then our Instagram is cool <coughs> underscore lures. Sorry, I have to put that on a slide, but yeah. Um, if anybody wants to do any customer discovery either, if it likes to fish, I'd love to talk to you. Thank you guys. Okay.